Hello again YouTube. Welcome to another video update for our garden channel or garden series. I want to welcome all of our new subscribers from our church. Thanks for viewing. Uh, we want to go over a few quick update things uh, and ask for some help on some other things. We have a lot of people that watch my videos that are into the gardening. Um, first off we got our asparagus. We're letting it go into the fern mode. So we're pretty much done eating it because my wife can't keep up with it. She can't grab it faster than it can grow. <laughs> um, which is fine. Uh, the next things over here are two rows of strawberry patches. We get really good strong leaves growing on all of these. Uh, the strawberries themselves are not getting very big. We get strawberries I mean, this is super tiny, but I mean, we get, they're staying pretty small in general. Occasionally we'll get some bigger strawberries, but not too much really bigger than this. And uh, they'll turn red and, you know, of course we'll pick them and eat them, but they're not really getting super big. So if anybody knows of some, something we can add in here to get them to grow bigger, maybe it needs uh, to get some more nutrients or something in there. Uh, we've been adding stuff in here. And we're going to try a 13-13-13 a mix and see if uh, adding that to the soil and watering it down will help to get us some bigger strawberries again. Uh, like I said, we have had them good in the past. Uh, over here we got uh, more of our sweet potatoes. My wife's buried in here. Uh, this is our zucchinis. These are the ones we're having some problems with right now. So this will be another wonderful... Uh, question for all the viewers out there we have been getting infestated you can see this plant here it looks like it's dying even though it has zucchinis on it it has these uh, you can see it these little white bugs and they are all over it and hopefully you can see these all over the edge of that leaf there it's hard for me to see on the camera but I know I'm pointing the camera at that area and you can see them all over the edge of the leaves they look kind of like little spidery thingies uh, you can also see here the uh, little eggs Oop, there they go the little brown eggs on some of the leaves uh, this one di is dying because of these critters and we noticed that there's uh, a bunch crawling on down into this one here as well so we don't know what we can do to save them. I don't know if they're aphids or what, but I do know that, like I said, there's these little brown seeds on all the leaves, so I'm trying to clean them off as we spot them, but they are everywhere in here. And this first year we've had this kind of a problem with any kind of critter. Uh, these two here don't seem to have a problem with them yet, but uh, like I said, they're going to probably jump from one to the next to the next to the next and then we're going to be out of zucchinis. But we do have some zucchinis growing on These are our artichoke plants. All three of them have uh, done their, their best for the season. And we're going to let them rest now. Uh, you can see here the uh, ants have decided to get onto this last one here and uh, make it a little snack before it gets fully grown, which is fine. That's what they do. Uh, got all the little cool critters growing in here. You can see in here we actually have a wasp nest going on that one. And uh, we'll, we'll clean all these things off in the near future here. All right, now for onions. Onions, onions, onions. You can see the onions popping out of the ground. They're just, uh, they're ready to go. They're ready to come in the house. They wanna be eaten. You can see some really nice big ones. Maybe it's hard to tell the size of them, but you can see it next to my hand, it's a pretty good size. These are all the white onions. Over here we got all of our purple onions. Purple, 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 and then these are just regular green onions that we just continue to let them grow, 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 and they're getting huge. Alright, back to Brussels sprout world. Like I say, we get, we're getting some Brussels sprouty looking things on there, but they're opening up. They're not uh, staying closed in tight little whole kid ball things, so I don't know what we're doing wrong. 
but uh, we do have one, two, three, four, five plants of those. And this is the same thing. Like I said, it's just uh, little veggie ball things. Look like little nodules on there. It's kind of weird. But that's all right. We are learning new stuff all the time. Then our uh, kale and kale and kale, and they seem happy. We just keep breaking off the tops and uh, eating them. On to our tomatoes. Yay, tomatoes. We love growing tomatoes, especially when it's uh, successful. Uh, these ones here are getting to be pretty nice. Pretty nice ones this year. Uh, this plant, we haven't found any of those uh, green ringhorn worms on this one. Uh, this plant here, the middle one, which also has a bunch of nice tomatoes on it, we found four ringhorned worms on this plant already. And they were big ones. And the way you can normally tell if you're going to have them is, uh, you can see how the leaves are all wilting over and stuff like this. That typically means that there's a ringhorn worm on that particular plant. And they're really hard to see because they're the same color as the plant. You can also tell because the top leaves have been eaten off. And this isn't because we get deer in, in here or anything. This is from the ringhorn worms. And the best way to find the ringhorn worms, if you haven't had to search for them before, they actually will hide underneath on the bottom side and they'll hang upside down on the branches, normally near the top. And they'll hang upside down on them and they are really close to the same color as uh, the to the green tomato plant so it's really kind of hard to spot them but then once you see them and you know it is one uh, you, you have to pull it off and he does not want to let go most of the time so we have to constantly come out here now and try to check every day if not every other day to see if we can find any ringhorn worms on these so that we'll not uh, eat up the plants and uh, they look pretty good for today uh, for the regular ones now these are going to be this is a different tomato plant here you can see the little baby tomatoes hanging here they're nice happy happy baby ones uh, this one here seems to be looking pretty healthy so I don't believe that there is any ringhorn worms on this particular uh, plant here I'm looking really quick to see if I can find any for the video, but I don't. So, don't want to make the video longer by sitting here searching. This is a carrot on the outside of this little canopy here. We let it go to seed. Inside here we have some other salad or lettuce uh, types of things growing as well as spinaches and things like that. And some other baby carrots. We put the tent on to see if we can keep some of the bugs off of them. We've got radishes, we've got some more squash, and other melons. You can see these other big ball here. These are uh, garlics and leeks that we're letting go to seed. And you can see that the, the bees are doing their job here, so they're happy. These are all potatoes, regular potatoes in the ground here. This whole row, well, a whole two rows on this side, and then there's kind of sporadic ones on this third row here mixed in with the onions and leeks and garlics and then over here we have a few more potato uh, plants in here along with as you can see some other onions now when the tops fall over like this and they're laying down that means it's time for them to be picked up and that's what we're going to be doing in the next couple of days here you can see some are still standing up but when they lay down they're done <laughs> that's the way we look at it you can see uh, few nice looking eggplant plants here. Uh, we got one here. This one has some flowers and some bugs on it. Let me see if I can get in here and see. You can get the uh, purple eggplant right there. Going to be beautiful. Got another bigger one inside there. So we got those growing. It's going to be nice, nice, nice. All right. Got some other spinaches and squashes and stuff there. We got more tomatoes, different varieties of tomatoes over here, and 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 here. Lots of tomatoes growing because we don't know how many we're actually going to get. 
we do have a problem with some critters that like them just as much as we do. Uh, this is a, another zucchini plant. Ain't no bugs on this bad boy. This guy is huge. Put him in a cage so all of the zucchinis are growing up alongside and you can see there is a in there there's a zucchini right there at the bottom of that flower growing nicely I see a couple more in there it's hard to see them but they are in there growing and they grow kind of straight up because they're inside of a cage makes it a little nicer so bugs can't get to them and then of course my my three secret plants here <clears throat> my wife doesn't like to water these but we're gonna eat them anyway as you can see in here let me pull one off here, as you can see. <clears throat> ah, yes, the jalapenos. Yep, hot sauce, salsas. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We only have a few plants, three plants, but these, these plants do produce a lot of jalapenos. The bigger they get, and they'll continue uh, producing jalapenos throughout the season after pretty much every other plant out here has died we will still have jalapenos growing on these bushes. They are crazy, crazy good uh, to grow, easy to grow from the starter plants that we buy at the local home center. Uh, you can see there's there's at least 40 or 50 on, on this plant that are babies right now. And it'll just keep blooming and making more. So that'll be great. All right, over here, blueberries. And blueberries and blueberries. We got two different varieties of blueberries. And yes, there is. There is blueberries on them, even though it's just a little bush. It's got blueberries on it. And this one as well has got some blueberries. We have to keep these inside the, the garden area because this one would be eaten by the deer. Some more here. This is our one of our four fig trees. And you can see in here, again, figs, 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 figs. Growing nice in there. Nice, 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 nice. Figs, figs. Can't wait on those. Uh, wow, this is our pride and joy for this season. I actually had to prop up our grapes with uh, a couple of boards because they are so heavy. You can see how big these bad boys are here. There's so many grapes growing on here. They're almost ready, almost. You can see the size of them compared to my hand. They're almost... Uh, up there I could probably eat them now but I want to wait keep watering them and they're I mean they are big big clumps and uh, like I said it is definitely bowing down this uh, wire and I'd have to prop it up two of the wires with uh, the stick here but it's got grapes everywhere in here grapes grapes all the way down to the bottom looks like it's really nice we do have a uh, an egg in our nest I'll try to see if I can catch it on video here. I'll check that later to see if it actually made it. But it's a little like a blue speckled egg. It's kind of cool. Uh, this is the first corn of the season. It's growing really nice. Pretty up in there. And yes, that is a cob of corn growing right there. First one. Now this is the multicolored corn as well as this one. And then uh, the next three here are just traditional uh, yellow sweet corns, because that's what I like. Now in our nice uh, area over here, we have all of our squashes growing, and uh, they're all mixed. So we've got some nice guys here. These are not watermelons. These are uh, different types of squash. We've got uh, butternut squash. We've got acorn squash. We've got spaghetti squash. And we don't know where we planted which. We just know that when they grows, we look at it and we can pick it and eat it. All right. And there's nice. This one here is another zucchini. You can see those in there. There's some more melon plants. Melon plants. It's a different melon plant here. You can see the melon right there. On that one, this one over here, it's got a couple more melons in there. Sorry if I'm moving the camera too fast, just trying to cover, cover stuff fast here. 
We got some underneath here to protect them from critters. One there, there's one growing there. Uh, our biggest one will probably be on this vine over here. Uh, this is a nice one here. It's a big old squash. Uh, they say it's a crook neck, lumpy yellow squash or something like that is what we saw in the pictures. So uh, that's what we're assuming that this guy is. Still really kind of hard, so we're waiting for him to get a little bit uh, softer, softer on the outside, and then maybe he'll be ready to be picked. I think it's like any typical squash. As soon as the stem side starts to turn brown, then uh, we can cut them off. So we will uh, look forward to eating that one. Let's see, we got some more squash here. Uh, got a lot of uh, weeding to do still as well. Watermelons, squashes, watermelons, squashes, and here is some another uh, melon here, Asian melons. Lots and lots and lots. So we have that going on for us. As we take the trip outside, we do have our peach tree on the very end, and then a fig tree, fig tree, fig tree. This one doesn't have as many figs growing on it as the other ones do. Even though the one that's in the garden is really tall, it has a lot of figs. Uh, this one, not so big, but they are figs growing on there, and that's all that we matter to us anyway. Now out here, we have to battle the snakes and the wasps for it, but you can see out here, we have free wild blackberries. And they are extremely cool. We have come out here every couple days and gently pick them so that we don't wake up all the uh, wasps that have decided to make a little wasp nest in here. And we pick, pick what we can of them. Ooh, hate them bugs, hate them bugs. But uh, all along here is uh, blackberry bushes mixed in here with dewberry. So if you are not a fan of dewberry, which I am not a fan of dewberry, then you will understand. But if you are a fan of blackberries, Mm, mm good. That is the way to go. And that's a nice big one. But we have them all along through here, through this section of the yard. And uh, the deer like them also. That's why we have these uh, paths come <laughs> right through here. And through here, the deer just come right through here and uh, decide that they want to nibble on uh, some berries too. So we have to share with them for right now until hunting season and then uh, they'll share with us in a different way. So I uh, just wanted to do a quick update with you guys and uh, show you what uh, the Lord's blessing us with this week. Did finally get the grass cut too, which is uh, uh, an awesome thing. Always looks nicer when you get your grass cut. But uh, it is just a joy, a joy, a joy to look around and not see anything but trees. Awesome, awesome. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.